Okay, today I'm going to explain to you how to do plique a jour. Plique a jour means, like soup de jour, that little azure means um, of the daylight or daytime. So plique a jour is braids of daylight. Okay, and that's a technique like backless cloisonne with wires. But it has no back on it. And then the areas are filled in with short firings to surprise the enamel into floating in there. It is fired at 1450 degrees and below because my solders melt at 1460. I use fine silver, which I have here, 16 gauge square for the outer borders. Um, Sixteen by thirty-two gauge, or point oh two by one point three millimeters for the medium gauge, and point oh two by by one point oh for the finest gauge, and that's a little thicker than cloisonne wire. It gives me just a little edge so that it won't melt when I'm in that torch. Then I'm going to square the ends of a piece of wire. This is a tool that will flush cut. It's available from Rio Grande. What it's going to give me is a very square end. And I need a square end so they meet exactly. The thing about this solder, Eutectic solder that I use, is that its fusion flow point are the same point. So it's not going to fill any gaps. It's not as forgiving as hard solder or any other solder. It's almost like fusing. What I'm doing here is I'm taking ring making pliers that will help me start to build this around. And I'm going to use mostly my fingers to try and make myself a little ring here because I'm going to do a finished product that looks like this. Okay? That's a nice beginner's project. It's going to hang from a little ear wire like the earrings I have on. And it's easy to make. I like to use a rawhide hammer to help this around. Now because I'm going to set this up for soldering, it is not that important that it be smooth or that it be round. It's only important that, it, that the ends meet. Okay, that's ready for me to solder. I don't need it any flatter than that right now because I'm only going to solder those two ends together. Okay, I'm going to demo today with a handheld propane torch like you get at an orchard supply or, uh, sorry, a hardware store. Um, no sense in getting fancy, it comes with this tip. And I'm going to use a kiln brick. brick. This is a K22 soft kiln brick that is going to re-radiate my heat so it makes the soldering easier. If I'm on a larger thing other than an earring, I would be using uh, city gas or propane in the air or acetylene. Okay? But for this I'm going to use... I love this Rio Grande Flux. It's called Rio Ready Flux, and that's what I use to, to flux my piece for the soldering. So I'm just going to spray it liberally down there. I'm going to let tension hold that joint together. If I had a little bit bigger thing, I might pin things, but I don't need to on this. My other product it comes from it's Eutectic Silver Solder. It comes from Unique Solutions. And the contact information is on there. And I'll read it to you, Unique Solutions. Um, there, it's actually, the website is myuniquesolutions.com. Okay, and they come out of Florida. And what this is, is eutectic solder ground to about 200 mesh so that I can just paint it on. I spray a little bit of my 
flux in the lid. Grab a brush. Grab some of my eutectic solder, paint it on, and I want it very liberal. The stuff is so fine that you need quite a bit on there. Then I'm going to light my torch. I'm going to let that set a minute. I'm going to change into protective glasses. These are didanium lenses. Okay, I've just taken an older pair of my glasses, attached the didanium so that if this sodium flare is a problem here, it won't hurt my eyes. And I'm going to take my torch, keep the whole thing. I'm heating outside of the little ring. I'm not hitting the ring. Okay. There's a point when it flashes a real quick silvery looking flash and it's ready then. Now I'm going to drop it in hot into water to cool it down. I'm going to take it over and put it into vinegar and salt, which functions as acid in my studio. I don't use Sparex. What I'm going to do next is I have my little frame and I made it larger so that you have a shot at seeing what the heck I'm doing. I'm going to take a wire, bend it, and fill it into the inside of this and then we'll solder that in. So, let's give myself a little ring, and then, that's the wrong one. I'm going to be generous with the piece of wire. I'm approximating how much it would take to even shove this in here. Ideally, you want this in three spots touching the edge. Uh, ideally, you can't always do that, so whatever, whatever touches we'll deal with. But I'm going to cram it in there in such a way that it touches. Okay, and then I'll finish off with a circle at the other end. When you see my samples here, you see that's what I started a circle, then I jammed it in, and then a circle. This is just like a filigree jammed in there. Okay, now we're going to move over and solder this.